Cards 2 Diecast 4. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another edition of the Cards that I cast for channel. I want to thank you all for watching. And in this video, we are going to be breaking open 20 blaster boxes of the new Panini Select Racing that just came out a couple weeks ago. This release may or may not be available yet at your local retail stores. They may be, they may not be. Uh, Panini Torque just came out not too long ago, so they may be more concerned about stocking that right now. But eventually, I'm sure these will come out to your stores. These are available, though, on eBay. However, I was able to find a dealer on eBay who was able to give me a pretty good deal on blaster cases. So even though this is about $3.99 right off the bat, I know from Steel City, I was able to get this as a, as, at a pretty good discount to where the dealer was able to make a profit while at the same time I was able to save a pretty good amount of money. And it got free shipping on top of that, so I'm very happy for that. 20 blaster boxes in this deal, so of course what you... You guys may not like it, some of you may, some of you may not, but we will be scaling each box and then we'll be able to dictate uh, based off that weight if possible. Now, of course, there could be uh, dummy stock, as I like to call, uh, call it, but uh, it's placer cards and whatnot to kind of offset the weight, but they haven't really done that with the NASCAR releases. They usually save that type of stuff mainly for the football and basketball type stuff, but nonetheless, though, we'll be scaling all the boxes. And then, we're, of course, we're going to try to save all the lighter boxes for last. So let's go ahead and open the box here real quick before we start pulling all these boxes out of the case. And as you can see right there, much like the Hobby Box version, it has the Dale Earnhardt Jr. car featured in it. And let's just pull one out here real quick so we can take a look at the cover. And there you go right there. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is going to have one autograph or mem card per box on average with 15 cards per pack or per box rather with it being uh, I believe three packs with five cards a piece. So who knows we maybe be we might be able to uh, have this be like certified from the standpoint that every pack I believe featured a numbered card. However, when you have a bunch of numbered cards, it kind of dilutes it. And that's one thing that I think uh, really hurts certified in my personal opinion. But let me go ahead and scale all these boxes. And after that, we'll go straight to cracking them. Okay, I have now weighed all of the blaster boxes, and so what we're going to do here, we're going to go from the heaviest box down to the lightest box. Now, I will say, after scaling this, and of course, as I said, that scale of mine has uh, been acting screwy lately, but we have a wide variety of numbers, but normally what we see here, the heaviest box came in at about 100, or not 100, 92.4 grams. Now that is in grams, so I'm going to put in the screen here in big letters, grams. So 92.4, although you can really, can't really tell my handwriting all that well. And when we look at the boxes again, I think they go from, as I said, right there, 92.4 grams to the lightest box is at 81.6. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the heaviest boxes because those normally have, normally, normally, of course, I don't know how this product here is gonna showcase, but normally the heaviest boxes are almost always uh, relic only. So let's go ahead and crack open this thing here. I'm pretty excited to see what Select Racing Blasters has in store for us, so let's go through here. This is the fattest pack, so we're going to save that for last. And now let's go right down to it. First pack is going to feature Jamie McMurray. Let's go ahead and correct the angle here. Jamie McMurray, base card. And then we have a numbered red Martin Truex Jr. And what's the number for this card? It is number 81 of 99, followed by a number, another number, and this is a blue. But did the blue ones in the hobby have the Pulsar background? Maybe this is a retail exclusive, but it's not numbered. Okay, so it looks like we have ourselves a potentially Blaster Box exclusive, that being, remember with the Fat Packs and the Prism line, they had the red, white, and blue. Like with the Prism line, you had the red, white, and blue exclusive for the Fat Packs, at least with the base line. Uh, there was red, white, and blue autographs sometimes found in hobby boxes. They were pretty much the same, however, this was a Fat Pack exclusive. And then, of course, with the Blaster Boxes, here is a 
um, Art and Truex Jr. camo, and this is numbered out of what's that little stain there? That is, this is a uh, card that's exclusive to the car number, and in this instance, it's out of 78 for Martin Truex Jr. So perhaps what we have here is a retail exclusive blue Pulsar, but it is not numbered. So move along, here is Matt De Benedetto and Joey Logano to close out that pack. So now, let's go to pack number two here. Eric Jones, uh, Ryan Sieg, and then we have another one of these blue Pulsars for Chase Elliott, but this one, of course, as with the other card, is not numbered. Kyle Larson, and then Chase Elliott. And then for the hit pack, Let's hope for something big here, guys. Right off the bat, let's have a good hit. Even if it's a relic, let's have a, have a nice numbered relic here. And let's put the numbered relic on, this, on the bottom because it's going to be a numbered relic, guys. Uh, Corey LaJoy, Casey Kane, uh, Miss Danica Patrick, Daryl Bubba Wallace, and our hit is not going to be numbered. Unfortunately, Prism for Fire Suit, no sheet metal for Martin Schuex Jr. So that is the hit for pack number one. All right, next heaviest pack was 92 even, 92 grams even. So expect to have yourself another relic in this pack. There's your three packs at the lightest or the fattest one at the bottom here. And so let's see. We can't get ourselves another numbered hit. Ooh, looks like we got another good hit coming here. In fact, let's put this on the bottom here because that looks like a gold. It looks like we got some gold already. Here we go, Blake Cook. Here's our potentially blaster box exclusive. It is not numbered. Blue Pulsar. But John Hunter Nemechek, Chase Elliott, Chase Elliott, or not Chase Elliott, but rather Clint Boyer car card. And here, is this gold? Do we have gold for Corey, Corey LaJoy? Flip it around. Indeed we do. Number three of ten. Gold parallel for Corey LaJoy. Very nice hit from a blaster box. It's a used mag, but we'll go ahead and put it into it. It's not the worthy of a brand spanking new mag, but nonetheless, very nice hit right there. So let's see if we can't topple that with our hit because you're probably not going to get it from this second pack here. Chris Buescher, uh, select stars for Brad Keselowski. And then you have uh, Kevin Harvick with the potentially blue uh, Pulsar exclusive for the retail packs. Michael Annette. And then you have your Martin Truex Jr. And so let's go ahead and rip open this, the hit pack here. Put that down on the bottom there, Joey Logano. Jimmy Johnson, Kurt Busch, Kevin Harvick in his Busch ride or Xfinity ride. And then here is a base, Matt De Benedetto. looks like sheet metal. And believe it is, sheet metal base for Matt De Benedetto. Right there, not numbered. Next heaviest box is 91.5. So we will go ahead and tear this open. So don't get too disgruntled yet. Remember, we're going from heaviest blaster to the lightest blaster. So if there are any autographs to be in this video, it likely will come a little bit later. So nonetheless, though, we got a nice gold hit so far for Corey LaJoy. Let's see if we can't match it with another good gold hit for potentially Miss Danica. That would be a great deal. Elliot Sadler. And here's your up close and personal. I believe this one's for Clint Boyer doing uh, some rednecking, it looks like. Here's Joey Logano, Blue Pulsar, uh, exclusive for the blaster boxes. Ryan Blaney, Dale Earnhardt Jr. And so we'll go to the next pack. And it looks like we have been able to receive one numbered hit per pack. That's outside of those, uh, well, of course, those, uh, those cards weren't numbered the blue pulsars but let's see if we can't get another numbered hit here or if we were just lucky speed merchants for uh kurt bush and then here's john hunter nemechek 
And then there's the, oh, that's the blue Pulsar, AJ Allmendinger, and then Kevin Harvick. And then the hit pack. We haven't had a numbered hit yet, so let's see if it's in the hit pack itself or if the hit is the only hit that we're going to get. And here is our Justin Allgaier, Paul Menard, Daniel Hemrick, Martin Truex, and then we have a base for Casey Mears. Base for Casey Mears, looks like sheet metal for Casey Mears. Not numbered. 91.4 for this pack, or box rather. You know, it's uh, going back to what I said, if you watched my uh, hobby box release, uh, the sport's going through some tremendous changes right now because silly season is in full effect. And if you've been watching this video at the time of this creation, or at the time of this video's making, uh, Kurt Busch is out of a ride. My Danica, if you will, is potentially out of a ride at the end of the year. And Matt Kenseth as well. Here's our Harrison Rhodes for the blaster exclusive or at least potential blaster exclusive and these are top drivers uh, and even with Danica she's had a lot of bad luck this year I really don't buy the idea that she's completely worthless I think that uh, especially at Michigan and Simona two accidents that she did not cause herself that took her out of the deal here's our Matt Kenseth for the blaster exclusive and then here's Gary Galding and this is what I was thinking about earlier so I believe I do believe blue pulsars will be your retail exclusive line and here is the blue numbered version and this is out of 299 or 199 90 of 199 for Gary Galding but these are a lot of drivers who before the economy went in the toilet I think would still readily be ready to go into 2018 with rides, but the sport is really hurting, guys. It really is, and it's, it's making me quite nervous. You definitely don't want to be in a position where the only time you can watch NASCAR is on an app, and I'm having a feeling that that's the road that we're going down once the TV contract goes out, and it's Joey Logano for our hit. It is not numbered. Uh, but going back to what I was saying, guys, I mean, it's really making me nervous because a lot of these drivers aren't ready to go yet. And it looks like the economy is going to force them out. Kevin Harvick, Joey Logano, Brendan Poole, and then here is the red, white, and blue. Very glad to see this be a numbered version for this year's Prism. But it's a, still a high number, which is a little bit, uh, it waters down to value 118. 100 points above the car number out of 299 for Kurt Busch, or Kyle Busch rather. And then it is Daniel Hemrick for the retail exclusive. Very concerned about the future of the sport. Is it all Brian France's fault, or do you have to take into account the economy and all the other? You know, if you guys want to watch something interesting, watch Humpy Wheeler talks about NASCAR and search that on YouTube and I tell you Humpy Wheeler what's wrong with NASCAR and I tell you he hits it right on the head with a lot of the things going on in today's sport and how uh, they try to get too fancy with NASCAR and that's what the uh, part of the problem is uh, Martin Truex Jr. is our retail exclusive and then the hit pack here let's see if we can't get a numbered hit numbered hit we want numbered hits this time numbered hit or could we get a Autograph and a hit, or autograph relic rather, I should say. Dale Jr., Blake Cook, Casey Kane, uh, Kaz Garla, AJ Allmendinger for the base fire suit. So I will say the base hits are a lot better than Prism. The race used tire doesn't mean very much, but right now this is a fire suit, base fire suit for AJ Allmendinger. Here we go 91.3, 91.3. Brendan Gone. Let's move this thing out. Brendan Gone. Uh, select Stars Base for Daryl Waltrip. Here's your blaster exclusive, and it looks like you get two of them, one to two of them per pack or per box. Eric Almarola and John Hunter Nemechek. 
Next pack, let's see what our numbered bonus hit is going to be, if we can get one. Trevor Bain, Ryan Reed, and then we have another retail exclusive for Kyle Busch and his Skittles ride, AJ Allmendinger, and Kevin Harvick. So let's try to get a numbered hit, guys. Numbered hit, numbered hit. Anything out of 200, whatever it is. Just give me a numbered hit, not, not a base one. Matt Tift, Ryan Blaney, in the Xfinity ride, Dale Jr., Austin Dillon, and it's going to be another base for Ricky Stenhouse. Sheet metal, indeed, once again. 90.8. 90.8. No dummy stocks so far. No dummy stocks so far. So let's see here. We have Matt Kenseth, Casey Kane, Brendan Jones, Matt Tift, and it's Ross Chastain for our retail hit. And then the next pack, we have Brad Keselowski, we have Clint Boyer, Trevor Bain, Joey Logano is our retail uh, hit, and then Kyle Busch. And so let's go ahead and rip open our hit pack. Can we get a numbered hit this time? Numbered hit, numbered hit. Chase Elliott, David Reagan, Landon Castle, Dakota Armstrong, and then we have Denny Hamlin, and we have Tyre this time. So I guess we got lucky with the other ones here. This is a Tyre relic for Denny Hamlin base, no number. 90.2 will be the weight for this box here. Whip out those three packs here, filter out the hit pack, and let's get to it. All right, William Byron, who by far with his endorsement autographs are very rare. Even, even if his gold, like this gold here, is supposed to be out of 10 for the majority of drivers, not for William Byron. They're only numbered out of two. And as of this video, there's one on eBay right now if you really want to buy it. Uh, but uh, there's William Byron there, Denny Hamlin, Eric Jones, Ryan Sieg, and then we have John Hunter Nemechek for the retail hit. So it looks like they're trying to put a little bit of emphasis on William Byron and also Jimmy Johnson the same way. His uh, autographs are at least for the autograph only cards. I don't know so much about the autograph and relic cards, but uh, the autograph only cards, they are in reduced number as well. So, and then we have a Prism Refractor for Co Custer, Select Stars for Kevin Harvick Base, Kyle Bush or Kurt Bush in the Mobile One uniform for the retail exclusive, and then our hit for the pack. Chase Elliott, Daniel Suarez, Bubba Wallace, Jamie McMurray, and once again another base hit. Fire suit for Ryan Newman. Okay, now this should be, unless I have them out of order, this should be the last box that's in the 90s in terms of its weight. We do have a couple of other boxes that are in the high 80s, 89 point something and so on. So this might not be the end of our relic hits, but hopefully here in a little bit we're going to start seeing some ink or potentially some autograph relics. So let's go ahead and see here. Let's just go ahead and start expediting this video here. Here is Ryan Blaney, and there's your four base cards. <clears throat> and then we have two hits this time. The red, white, and blue for Reed Sorensen. This is going to be out of $2.99. Particularly, this card is $48 out of $2.99 for Ryan Reed. Or, Ryan, or Reed Sorensen, pardon me. And then Paul Menard is your red, white, and blue. And then here are the other base cards for the pack. And now let's go straight to our hit. And our hit is going to be, let's find out together, Jamie McMurray, rubber tire, not numbered. So, so far with all of our relic hits, no numbers. I don't know if we're just bad luck or if there's not going to be hardly any relic numbered cards. 
So let's go on to the next pack. Told you a lie, we still got one more 90 gram box. This is 90 flat, 90 flat. And so let's go ahead and expedite like we did with the other pack, going straight to the retail hits or any other hits that we get with this deal here. And it looks like Justin Allgaier is gonna be our retail hit. Here's your four bases. And then to the next pack, we will then showcase retail hit for Martin Truex Jr. And then there's the other four hits, or four cards rather. And then the major hit for the box is going to be Greg Biffle. And it too will be not numbered. Fire suit for Greg Biffle Performance Plus. All right, our first box that's under 90 pounds, or not 90 pounds, but 90 grams. So let's see if we can start seeing some ink here because we are at the halfway point and still has a relic in it. In fact, we're gonna go ahead and go straight to the relic because I am starting to get tired of all these relics here. Paul Menard is gonna be the relic. It's gonna be a base at fire suit for Paul Menard. Here's the other four cards that were in it. Let's see if we can at least get some gold here, or maybe even a little bit better. Retail exclusive for AJ Allmendinger, Blue Pulsar. And then the other pack featured uh, just another Blue Pulsar for Dale Earnhardt Jr. 89.3 is the weight for this box here. Starting to feel a little disappointed now because whenever you get these cases, I always try to Always would hope that it would give me a, a mixture of autographs and relics, but it looks like we're going to have more relics than we do autographs. Blue Pulsar for Ty Dillon is our blaster box hit. Likewise, again, with Kevin Harvick. And then the hit for the pack, or the box rather, is going to be Ryan Blaney. And it's going to be another base. This time it's tire for Ryan Blaney. A little bit of out of order here, if you will. 89.6. So this is going to go a little bit closer to that 90 plus grams deal. So it looks like we got a cold case here. I like to call these cold cases. Every now and then you are, like with Prism, there was a couple times where... I would get a whole case with nothing but autographs. There is not one relic, but it looks like we're not going to get lucky with Select here. Uh, Landing Castle is going to be the retail exclusive hit. We just grab this other pack here, and it looks like uh, Chris Busher is going to be our retail hit. And then the box hit will feature Cole Custer, another base once again fire suit for Cole Custer. 89.1. Now I'm starting to get a little frustrated because I want to see some ink. This is a very cold case here. Uh, AJ Allmendinger, once again, we're even starting to see the same uh, retail hits. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr., once again, Retail hit there, and then the box hit. Ugh, Reed Sorensen, ugh, base card. Okay, I think our time of waiting might finally be done because now our next box here features an 84.5, and that's actually a pretty significant drop. About five grams, that usually separates the relics from the autographs. So hopefully here, we will start to feature autographs from here on out. Uh, we got five boxes, including this one, so or not including this one. So it looks like here, and it does feel like three thin packs. So finally, we should have about six autographs to close out this video here. So let's go ahead with box number one. Trevor Bain, Miss Danica, and it's going to be Todd Gilliland will be our autograph here on card. And it is a base, so... A lot of base for all our hits. They all seem to be bases, so keep that in mind so far at least. I'm sure there's numbered autographs here too, but so far it's been a little bit 
fishy when it comes to our numbered cards here because it's it's either that or this is just an extremely cold case an extremely cold case very cold even the hits are very cold last pack for the deal Kevin Harvick red white and blue and that is 110 299 and then Jamie McMurray will be our retail hit 84.1 will be the weight of this box here and as before we have three thin packs so it looks like anything below 85 grams is going to get you your autograph if you for those who like to scale sometimes like I do I confess to doing that and I don't necessarily feel all that bad however when I do scale it's usually like a month into the release in fact there are sometimes when I'll scale boxes like with Prism at some of the retail stores I went to I think I think that's our autograph right there let's try to save that for last um, it was months 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 after Prism's release and there were still blasters available so when I do scale it's after everybody's had a good shot to try to get those boxes I usually don't scale right off the bat 182 299 red wine blue for Brad Keselowski and then Dale Earnhardt Jr. featuring the Diet Mountain Dew or is it no it's Dew USA and that's our retail hit and then the autograph as you can see right there you can see the difference and really you can really tell the difference I don't know if there's going to be single packs but if it's going to be that noticeable, I think uh, you're going to be able to tell the autograph from the single pack, should there be one. And then Brad Keselowski, Joey Gase, Jimmy McMurray, Gary Golding, and here we go with the future hit star. And it's going to be a numbered one, finally. Our first numbered autograph, Alex Bowman. On-card autograph. And what's this going to be? 10 of 25. 10 of 25 for Alex Bowman. I think I might actually keep that. In fact, I might even put it into a mag. 83.1. 83.1. So we have four boxes in total, including this one left. And they all should be autographed. So let's see if we can't pull a Danica Patrick. You know how I like it. I like the Danica Patrick autographs. If not, let's see if we can't pull out a Jimmy Johnson. Remember, Jimmy Johnson still... Uh, Nope, and we'll go ahead and save that weird background on that one. Be interesting to see what, what type of a hit that is. Ty Dillon, blue, and this is going to be a numbered card. And this is 100 of 199 for Ty Dillon, blue. And then Kevin Harvick is going to be our retail hit. And then there's the four base cards. Oh, that's the autograph, or at least I think that's the autograph. And that's going to be a retail autograph, or a retail hit, rather, for Eric Almirola. Now, the reason why I stopped, you see that, like, all yellow background. Not sure exactly what that is, so let's find out together. Brad Keselowski, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Matt Tift, and I like playing these guy games every now and then. Okay, guys, you, you guys find out. What is it? Is it anybody good? Because this doesn't even feel like an autograph. No wonder why. Oh my goodness. Now they're sticking reward points cards in, in NASCAR stuff. What this stuff is here. Oh no. What they're doing here is that Panini has a bunch of junk that they collect over time. And what happens is that they could post this stuff on their website and you get stupid stuff like this. You could get points and you could earn towards getting that junk. Like I think right now, I think, I went to that website one time and I did see a Donra Studio Eric Jones autograph base that was available. But I mean, it costs quite a bit of points. Or you could just go out and straight up buy it. But the thing is though, this is crap. So now NASCAR is even getting involved in all that stuff. So what was it, 83.1? Let's start going down the line here. So start, start being careful, guys. Ooh, -hoo. box searchers, box filters, pack searchers, blaster box buyers, 150 rewards points. Ugh, 
So let's go ahead and go to the next pack here, and hopefully that will be the last time we see anything like that. But that's not good. Just go ahead and, I guess, do searches for Panini Rewards Points, and then you can find out horror stories, I'm sure, from that stuff. But that is junk. I think I might post that on eBay. Uh, Joey Logano, red, white, and blue. It's going to be out of $2.99. Particularly, this card is $181 of $2.99. What the hell? Uh, Martin Truex Jr. is your retail exclusive, and the autograph for this pack hopefully will be an autograph. Uh oh. Uh oh. More points? Oh crap. Holy crap. More points, guys. No, no autographs, it's points. Holy crap. Holy crap. Let's go to the next box. Holy crap. So if you're going to be pack searching or scaling, you need to find them in the 84, 85 range. Holy crap. Let's go to the next one. Oh, oh my God. More points. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude. Dude, Panini's screwing us out. Oh. Oh, Danica Patrick, red, white, and blue. Who gives a shit? Dan uh, Denny Hamlin, retail hit. Holy crap. They're screwing us out. Oh, crap. Kyle Busch, retail exclusive. Let's go to that final box, guys. This is the final box. 81.6. Holy crap. No way. Be careful, guys. You want an autograph. What was it? 85, 84, 85 grams? Nothing lower than that. Denny, or, or Austin Dillon. That's your retail hit. Holy crap. Okay, I think we might have an autograph. No, that's the that's just a numbered hit. No, I think we got an autograph here. No, no, no. Oh, what, what the? Oh, what is this? Now we got a bunch of different colors here. Okay, I think we may have an autograph and points. All right, first off, Brad Keselowski, tie dye. And this is going to be out of 24, I believe. 20 of 24, Brad Keselowski tie-dye. Ryan Blaney is the retail exclusive hit. And then, what was this? More bases here. And then here we go. I'm not even sure what to do. No, crap. No wonder why what that is. Okay, A.J. Allmendinger, Kevin Harvick, Eric Jones, White flag, up close and personal, or white prism. This is going to be out of 50, I believe. 24 or 50 for Jimmy Johnson. Holy crap. 900 points. Holy crap, guys. Holy crap. All right, guys. That's all I could show you guys. So out of all that, out of that whole case, the only autographs we got was Todd Gilliland, and Alex Bowman. And then we got a good Corey LaJoy gold. Beyond that, though, we got junk. Beware, guys. Beware. You know, I, I'm i not a rich man, but at the same time, I have no kids, no wife, and no debt. That's why I'm able to do all this stuff for you all. And look, all this stuff's just falling all over the place. But holy crap. Now we're starting to get involved in this stuff. Once this is this is it. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you guys. Cars of Diecast Four channel, please like and subscribe. That's all I ask. A lot of people are doing Patreons and things like this. The only thing I ask for now, at least, is that you guys support me with your subscriptions. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now before I start just blurting cuss words all over the place. Thank you all, and I will see you all later.